Hey everyone, it's Sally. Now, I apologize for my voice. This is actually pretty good compared to what it was. So the reason why you didn't get a um, video last week was, beginning of the week I was like progressively getting sicker, but I, was, I had to be working the whole time. By Friday, I pretty much lost my voice. Like, it, it was gone. So um, I was silent for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, part of Monday, and then, on Tuesday I cut my voice back but it's sort of kind of like, like I've been drinking a lot of whiskey <laughs> I call it my sexy grandpa voice anyways um, so yeah we are back to doing videos and uh, this was a video I was meant to do last week and it is about getting your body bikini ready the steps that I do to get myself bikini ready I'm going to go on holiday in just over two weeks I cannot wait we are going to the Maldives and I'm gonna be there for 12 nights and it is like a holiday. It's like a dream come true. It just looks like paradise. I am so excited. I'm gonna try and do a vlog from over there. Um, we do have Wi-Fi, I think, in the villa, but it's, I, I just cannot wait. Like I squeal with delight every time, every time I think about it. But, so I've started prepping a couple of weeks ago already for, um, for the holiday. So I thought I would um, share kind of like my tips with you. And also, please let me know all of your bikini ready tips. I'm trying to know, like, it's not too late to add more steps to my regime. So, my regime is partly kind of my own things I've been doing for a few years, and partly inspired by uh, an article in InStyle magazine that I just ripped out. I was in the train and I saw it. I tend to rip out articles and then just throw the magazines away. And then sadly, yes, I do use a highlighter. I do. <laughs> Anyways, this was in the May edition of InStyle. I can't remember if this is UK or it's got to be UK because the prices are in pounds. So I took a couple of the steps from there. I didn't follow the whole thing because some of it is not applicable to me per se. But I did follow a few of the um, a few of the hints and tips. And the first one was I was already doing this was um, eat more fish or Amigas. Now, what I've been taking is, and I'm going to do a specific video about this product completely. I am really, really excited about it, and it's the Ascenta Skin, and it is a skin vitamin. So it helps your skin be plumper, firmer, younger, less irritated, less everything. Check out, I'll put a link to the website below. Uh, I am going to do a proper review of it, but I want to keep taking this for a while before I do so I can really talk to you in depth about the changes in my skin but so yes I was already taking this the actual article tells you to take the Omega 3s or Pericone Pericone I never know if you say Pericone or Pericone MD also has like specifically stuff like this but yeah so take a vitamin to keep your skin supple then uh, another pill that I wasn't mentioned on this that I am taking to get beach ready is a, um, this is a French brand called Oil No Oil, and this helps prepare your skin for the sun. I've been taking tablets like this, I think for the past four summers, and they make a difference. I burn less and I tan much, much more intensive. You're meant to start taking it a month ahead of time, uh, which I did, and you take one tablet per day. And it does, it really protects your skin, not that you don't need to use SPF, I'm going to show you, I've got a huge selection of SPF that I bought, uh, but it does help your skin protect itself and also it makes your tan great. So I take those two supplements to prepare myself. Now to keep my skin taunt and firm things up, um, I'm using two different products and they're both uh, inspired by this article. Uh, the other one I've used before, the other one I haven't. And the first one is, and this is a complete luxury purchase for me. I've never bought a product like this before but I love it and it's by Rodiel and it's the Super Fit Tummy Tuck and this is a specifically concentrated formula for the abdominal area with Geno Slim Wheat Protein and Fig Extracts. Now before I go any further these this kind of like cellulite creams and this kind of like whatever tummy tuck creams they don't make you lose a pound just to be <laughs> just to be clear they are not gonna make you lose pounds and inches and if you expect that then you're going to be disappointed but it does tone and firm the skin so the area looks smoother it kind of it makes in my opinion um 
Like, for example, this has made my skin stronger and firmer. I, I probably, I haven't measured myself, but I haven't lost a single inch around my tummy, but it just looks better and that's what counts. <laughs> um, yeah, well, also I have up my ab regime, most definitely, like, um, coming up to, coming up to the season. And I gotta say, I love this. The tube is huge, it's gonna last me forever, because you don't use that much. Use it on your tummy and you're in your waist. Um, but yeah, that was a little bit of a splurge. Well, how much does it say? Yeah, I bought it in England at 65 pounds. That's a huge splurge. Um, and then the other one, this I have used before, like, several years and it is the Clarence Body Lift Cellulite Control and by coincidence this is the one that they are recommending. They're recommending a Sicily one as well that was way too expensive for me um, but I've used this before. I like the sensation because it makes your uh, legs feel cool so I kind of I like it for the summer because it kind of cools you down. It's a gel format it sinks in I don't know on me it doesn't sink in fast but no body cream actually sinks in very fast with me I don't know why my skin just takes its sweet time. Like, I'm never one of those people that can moisturize and get dressed. Like, or if I do that, like skinny jeans will be going on really in a really difficult way because my skin takes a long time to absorb ingredients. Um, but again, the same thing with this. No, it's not gonna make my thighs an inch slimmer, not even half an inch slimmer, but it does firm the skin so the skin looks better. So it kind of, holds everything in better, but yeah, you're not gonna lose any weight. Uh, so they're kind of, I don't know, um, products that you can take or leave, depending on what you, a really invigorating kind of massage with a body cream probably will do the same thing, but I'm a bit of a product junkie. So this product, the next product I mentioned in my June favorites, and it's the Cowshed Wild, Wild Cow Invigorating Shower Scrub. I use this to kind of like, I'm using it more than I would normally. Normally I would use a shower scrub kind of once a week maybe. Now I'm using it at least three or four times a week to really keep my like my cell turnover going. And I use it, sorry, this is wet, with a, this is my body shop, a body brush. Now, like the article and a lot of people do dry body brushing. I forget about that 90% of the time, but in the shower, um, I do remember it. So I actually just combine these two. I do shower brushing. So I use um, the scrub with this, and this is really stiff. Like when I first started using it, it almost hurt. But now my skin is really used to it, and it's, like when I use moisturizer after it, it just, it goes crazy smooth. Like, like oh, I'm, I'm gonna try and insert some angel song here, like, ah. <laughs> my horrible voice. I'm so sorry. I should have not tried that. Um, might cut that out. Anyways, um, that's what I do in the shower. And then after the shower, I am, this is, uh, I've already used up my Laura Mercier that I mentioned in a video previous to three products I'm using up and then buy one. And, but this is the one I'm using up. So after shower, I'm using Natio Spa Ultra Hydrating, Hydrating Body Cream. But what I am um, combining with this is a couple of drops of Josie Moran Argan Oil in order to really, really lock the moisture in. So I just mix maybe three or four drops of this into my body cream and it's, I'm just kind of like locking the moisture in. I do it on not necessarily damp skin, but I haven't really towel dried properly and I feel like for me it aids in the product sinking in faster. Um, it's just kind of the way I do it. In the article, it's using actually a different body, um, different oil to combine it with. But yeah, I am. These are. This is the stuff I have. So this is actually a point that I'm gonna. I'm gonna veer off ever so slightly. Um, I'm guilty of it, and you know when you watch videos or you read a magazine, you feel like you need the exact product that is being used in the video that's mentioned in the article or you know wherever you see it. Most of the time that's not true. Most of the time you can achieve exactly the same result with a different product that's cheaper, more available to you, you know, all of that. Of course there are products that are holy grail that really, really, you know, do not compare. But like, I'm not using the same body moisturizer, I'm not using the same oil. To my OCD character, you know, it's a little bit not ideal, but I thought it's like, no, I've got several, I've got 
this I recently got Trilogy Rose Hip Oil um, from my friend Jenny Ann in Australia. Thank you so much, Jenny Ann. I love it. I'm using that on my face. But um, I, you know, I don't need another oil. So I'm just, for me, obvious body preparation for the beach is self tanning. I'm not big on self tan. I don't like to self tan. I hate the feeling of the product on my skin. I've tried tons of different ones. I just don't like the way it feels. And no matter how scentless they are, there is, after a couple of hours, there's a lingering little biscuit smell. And, but in order to get myself on the beach, there's no beaches in Paris. Like I haven't been, a couple of times there's a little park and I go and tan there, but you don't get a great tan um, if you live in central Paris. So I'm gonna need to self tan. And the one I've been using on my legs now, like as soon as legs came out, is Fake Bakes uh, Luxurious Golden Bronze Flawless Self Tan Liquid. Streak free, easy application, it's true. It is streak free. The tan is super, super natural. I do like it. I do like it that it's a spray. I don't use it like I don't, ooh, sorry. I don't use it like directly from the spray. I use it with the mitt that I came with. I'm not an expert self tanner, so I'm not gonna go into detail on how to use it because I don't self-tan very much. But um, yeah, for the beach, um, for the first couple of days, I'm definitely <laughs> going to need this or, you know, people will be scared. <laughs> so last but not least is sunscreen. I'm gonna go through the arsenal that I'm taking with me. I'm sure I'm gonna end up buying more because I use a lot of sunscreen. And first I'll show you um, a couple of products I'm taking for the face. My main face sunscreen is going to be, I might have to buy another one because this looks really teeny. Uh, Bioderma's Photoderm Bronze 50 Plus. Now this says it is a uh, very high protection sensitive skin, stimul stimulates natural tan. That's what's important for me. So there are a lot of, you know, sunscreens with 50 in it, but the stimulating natural tan is important for me because normally on the beach, I, you know, after a holiday, I've got white skin because I've worn 50 the whole time. And then my body's really bronze. And so I'm hoping this is gonna help even that out a little bit. Uh, but I don't go below 50 on my face anymore. Whatever like place I'm going to on holiday, I just wanna keep it, yeah. It's, for me, uh, I'm too scared of pigmentation now. I wasn't a couple of years ago, and I wish I had been. Another one that I'm taking is, this is a firm favorite, just in, ca just in case I don't like this, and my husband loves this as well, is La Roche-Posay's uh, 50 plus, um, Anti, the anti-shine one, um, because it kind of mattifies your face at the same time. Both amazing, amazing. Uh, well, I've read very good things about this. I haven't used it yet, so I'm hoping it's amazing. This one I know is amazing. Then for, um, there's a couple of products for the body. This one, apparently you can use on the face as well. So this is Paula's Choice. By the way, thank you so much for everybody that recommended Paula's Choice. I've started using their moisturizer and um, I bought their sunscreen as well. Very excited to try this. And this is water resistant up to 80 minutes. Amazing because we are gonna be in the Maldives. I'm gonna be snorkeling, swimming, doing everything. Probably trying kite surfing, which I'm excited about, um, as long as the waves are there and maybe diving, I'm not sure. If any of you dive, let me know what you think. My husband loves diving, he's a really advanced diver. I wouldn't be going, like, diving with him. I would probably just be in the pool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me know what you think about diving. So far, I've only, like, every kind of tropical holiday I've been on, I've been snorkeling on the reef, and I've thought that's enough, but diving's meant to be able to. Anyway, uh, yeah, so taking Paula's Choice in 50, and then I've got three, like, that progressively go down. Now, I'm not promoting anybody use as a sunscreen that uh, enables burning. I know from my skin that if I'm away for two weeks, uh, if I use 50 for the first, I would say, four or five days, I can go down to 30, 20, 15. My skin is Scandinavian, and even though I'm quite fair, we tan really well. There's something in, like, Scandinavian skin that doesn't burn easily and helps you tan. So I know that I can build up to a tan without burning. So I bought all of these from different brands because I, you know, I kind of like to mix it up. So I bought L'Oreal 30 and this is um, Invisible Finish and Sensation Tonu, which means naked skin, which is great because I hate um, something that's too sticky. So that's my 30. My 20 is by Oven and it's a spray as well. And this says without uh, effect blanc, which is the white effect, so you don't get the, the sunscreen thing. 
um, event as a brand I love, so I've got high hopes for this. And my last one is this this brand is I think it's a French brand, I'm pretty sure. Soleil Désir. I'm obsessed with the smell. I have been using their after suns for the whole time I've been in Paris, so five years. And uh, this is the 15, this is the last one. My after sun is also from there, and this is one of the ones that activates um, your tan afterwards. It really does work. You go really brown with this. But the scent is, it's a Monoide Tahiti, so kind of the mono oil scent. But I'm just like addicted to the to the scent, so I always have to have some of this, but this is my last one, which is 15. And yeah, I do slather on sunscreen and I reapply it a lot, so it might seem like a crazy amount of sunscreen, but actually I'm probably gonna go through all of this and I might even have to buy more, but yeah, I apply a lot of it. Um, so yeah, that is my kind of getting bikini ready regime, and I do like to start it a month. I actually started the first bits, I think, about six weeks before my holiday because I really want to be prepped properly and obviously doing more sit-ups, doing more press-ups, doing more lunges, doing more of all of that in order to kind of like be completely bikini ready. I, I'm i bad, I'm always in a bikini, I don't wear a one piece because I want my tummy to be um, like all tanned because it feels slimmer that way as well. Anyways, let me know your kind of bikini ready tips. It's, yeah, like I said, it's two and a half weeks away, so I still have time to incorporate more steps. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for bearing with my husky voice.